Little Dingle and welcome back. So, new term, new songs and new themes. So we spent a lot of last term looking at um, high and low. So this term we're going to look at different sounds, different sounds that we can make with our voices, different sounds we can make with different types of instruments. So I'm going to kind of show you different instruments that I found in my music cupboard. Although I promise, I can't promise you that I'm practiced in all of them like my whistles last term right anyway got to teach you a new hello song of course and this one i want you to listen to it and i want you to pat along if you can so have a listen first this is how it sounds bread and butter marmalade and jam let's say hello as loud as we can hello I do it again. Do you think you can pat along? Now I'm not going to do loud this time. I think I'm going to do happy. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as happy as we can. Hello. You get your big smiles on. Are you waving? We'll try one more, shall we? Watch. How should we do it this time? Shall we try doing it sad? <laughs> Let's give that a go. So we're going to do it sad this time. So just patting along. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as sad as we can. Hello. <laughs> right, well, how are we all feeling today? Is everybody really good? Some people okay? Or not very good? So that hello song, we had loud, sad, happy, we can have all sorts. So I want you to think about what you could add or how we could say hello to each other. That's really important. Right, before I teach you a new song today, I want to show you an instrument because this is what I said. I said we'd be looking at instruments and we would be looking at um, the way different ways they sounded. Right, so let me grab mine. <laughs> this instrument I'm going to show you today. Now, I have shown you a whistle, we've done, what else have we done? Guitar, ukulele. But I thought we'd have a look at this one today. Now, I don't really play this one, um, not since I was a teenager, but what is it? Can anybody know what it is? It's a violin. And there is actually a woman on Arts Play called Sarah who plays the violin. So you can go and have a look at some of her videos as well. But I'll show you briefly. It kind of looks like a ukulele, doesn't it? It's about the same length and it's got four strings. But we don't pluck it, we don't hold it like this. Oh, you can. But we don't really play it like this. We put it under our shoulder. We take a bow and we brush the string with the bow over the top. So it sounds like that's quite loud, isn't it? Can you hear that? So we're using the bow, we're brushing the string. Making a sound. So what's a song that we all know? because it's nice to use a bow rather than just plucking the strings rather than doing it like this you hold it like this so you could go and watch some videos of some uh, violin players or fiddle players and tell me what you think of them right okay so that's the violin and we're gonna learn a wee song today and have a listen it sounds like this once a man fell in the well, splish splash bop she sounded. If he land and fallen in, he would not have drowned. So that's how the song goes. Would you like to listen to it again? Maybe this time you could stand up and you could march with me while I sing the song. I'm going to sing the song. Ready. Once a man fell in a well, splish, splash, splash, he sounded. If he hadn't fallen in, he would not have drowned it. Did 
did you manage to stamp along? Can you stamp around the room this time? Are you ready? We're going to go. Ready, off we go. Once a man fell in the well, splish, splash, splash, he sounded. If he hadn't fallen in, he would not have drowned. Did you manage? to move with me to the music. Should we try it one more time? And let's try and, and maybe this time, should we pat instead of walking? You could, ready? Ready. Once a man fell in a well, splish, splash, splash, he sounded. If he hadn't fallen in, he would not have drowned. So you can listen to this song a few times. I want you to try marching around. And then I also want you to try tapping your legs like this. So you can try both of those. And then next week, we're gonna do it a bit more. Right, okay, good luck with that. And um, we'll see you next week.